ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful, all praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers all until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new episode from the series Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Today, I'm talking about his uh, advices and commandments to the Ummah after we talked about the last days in his life. He got sick after he returned from the farewell pilgrimage and then during the two months of uh, Muharram and Safar, he was fine, but then after visiting Al Baqiya with his uh, uh, servant, he came back and he, he got sick. And he, during the last five days um, on different occasions, he made advices and he made some commandments to the Ummah as he was uh, about to depart this world. And some of these are very, very, in fact, all of them are very important. And he emphasized certain things that we need to uh, listen to, to pay attention to, and follow as his was really for the good and benefit of Muslims throughout the ages. One of the things that he uh, made, peace be upon him, was to warn against competing for this life and fighting over dunya or life just only for the wealth and glamour and glitter of life because this is going to be a source of destruction for people if they uh, do so uh, as he said uh, regarding this life and uh, only being uh, competing with each other so if you really fight among yourself and compete regarding this ummah, it will destroy you just like it destroyed those before you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gave Abu Bakr his own status, alayhi salatu wasalam, and he said that he should lead the prayer. He should lead the prayer uh, when he got sick. And uh, Aisha radiallahu anha said to him, Abu Bakr is a very uh, soft-hearted man. And when he stands in prayer, he cannot lead the prayer uh, for people. Uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, insisted on the uh, Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam to, uh, and, and, and Abu Bakr to lead the prayer. And Abu Bakr started to lead the prayer on the morning of uh, Monday when the Prophet peace be upon him died alayhi salatu wasalam, he actually uh, uncovered the screen between him and the masjid just in this place to my right and he looked at the Muslims behind Abu Bakr he smiled and he laughed and then the Sahaba Ridwanullah and the companions really felt that uh, very happy and they they just uh, they saw the Prophet peace be upon him looking at them and smiling at them uh, and he uh, pointed to them to keep uh, uh, praying even Abu Bakr al-Siddiq uh, may Allah be pleased with him wanted to uh, go back to the first straw and allow the Prophet peace be upon him to offer the the, the Salah instead of him but he said uh, keep going and then he put the screen back again but he died in the same day and uh, he could not do anything beyond that but that showed how he was happy with prayer in fact prayer is one of the very, very major things that every Muslim has to pay attention to 
when he advised Muslims by saying as-salat as-salat wa ma malakat aymanukum keep the prayer keep the prayer and whatever your uh, hands uh, possess that means you should care about your own uh, servants those people who are under your authority those who work for you you should be kind to them you should be nice and uh, treat them very well the uh, the last uh, moments in his life were full of advices and concern about his own ummah and one of the things that he mentioned was the the care for al-ansar to be kind to them al-ansar as you know had these uh, uh, this great status when they received the Prophet peace be upon him after Quraysh in Mecca rejected him in fact persecuted him and his own companions but they opened their arms to receive the Prophet peace be upon him and then after they uh, they did what they did actually he said well be kind to the Ansar and be generous to those who are generous among them and forgive anyone who commits wrongdoing except if they cross the boundaries of Allah the Almighty and uh, the Prophet peace be upon him warned against building masjids over graves and he said that uh, 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 it is the work of those uh, who uh, who overflattered him in fact he emphasized the point of not to exaggerate in uh, promoting the Prophet peace be upon him beyond or raising him above his status as a slave and messenger of Allah as he said لا تطروني كما أطرت النصارى ابن مريم وإنما أنا عبد فقولوا عبد الله ورسوله do not over flatter me as the Christians did to Jesus peace be upon him I'm only a servant of Allah just say the servant and messenger of Allah and that being being a, a, a servant actually uh, uh, to Allah is a great status in of itself look at what Allah said in the opening of Surah Al-Isra Subhanalladhi asra bi'abdihi so Allah is glorifying himself who sent his own slave his own slave that is in the uh, position of uh, giving him this high status so he warned against building masjids over the graves because you you turn away from the worship of Allah the Almighty and you uh, uh, pay attention to the dead or may as some people did later on uh, after he, his death peace be upon him that they started to visit graves to seek the uh, help of the dead and unfortunately nowadays we see this uh, widespread in societies who are ignorant and not really understanding the concept and the message of Islam. The message of Islam is based on Tawheed, on the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Him alone and not to associate partners with Him, whether live or dead. But how could you ask the dead to help when uh, the live even cannot help except by the permission of Allah the Almighty, peace be upon him and uh, he said in this regard ala wa inna man kana qablakum kanu yattakhiduna qubura anbiya'ihim wa salihihim masajid fala af, ala fala tattakhidu al-qubura masajid inni anhakum an dhalik those before you used to take the graves uh, of their own prophets and uh, and their own righteous men as places for worship so do not take graves as places of worship i warn you against this and uh, the prophet peace be upon him as a favor to abu bakr and wanted to preserve his own masjid he said close all doors and all windows overlooking the his own masjid except the door of abu bakr as siddiq as a sign that he wanted abu bakr as siddiq to be the leader of Muslims after his departure peace be upon him he also warned against reading the Quran during Ruku' and Sujood um, reading the glorious Quran is when you are standing but during the position of Ruku' 
and sujood, you glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying in ruku' subhana rabbi al-azim, saying in sujood subhana rabbi al-a'la, uh, as the Prophet, uh, uh, peace be upon him, taught Muslims and he, uh, peace be upon him, uh, uh, advised us with some of the great advices and one of them is to hold dearly to the glorious Quran, is to hold on to the book of Allah. This is the source of guidance and to show your uh, ad really adherence to the glorious Quran uh, 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 as the book of Allah. It is the everlasting miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the things that he advised was also to think well of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, because particularly when it is time of death, Jabir radiallahu anhu said, I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said before his death, three days before his death, لا يموتن أحدكم إلا وهو يحسن الظن بالله عز وجل. No one shall die except when he's thinking very well of Allah because this is the time when you think well. Now, some people take this as a sign that I can do whatever I can do and think that Allah is going to forgive me. Well, this is not the way. The way is to think well of Allah and do well as well because you need to be uh, persistent and perseverant in holding on to the uh, rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to uh, think at the same time well because you, th you think that is Allah may not forgive me, Allah may not uh, be kind to me, you are in a time of weakness, you are about to see and meet uh, your uh, uh, God the Almighty Allah, so you should be thinking well of him subhanahu wa ta'ala. He also made the advice regarding women to be kind to women, to um, uh, uh, be uh, nice to them and uh, he said fear Allah in women so you actually got married to them by the permission of Allah with the word of Allah meaning there is a strong bond and covenant between the two of you and unless you Pay attention to this and respect this great uh, uh, and, uh, bond that is holding you together. This is not going to be, uh, be, be good for you. All in all, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was giving advices throughout his life. But he emphasized these points in the last days before his death peace be upon him, which showed us the importance and, and, and the kindness and this uh, uh, mercy in his heart for his uh, regarding his ummah. So, in this regard, as he was fearful for our future, for our good uh, 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 well work in this life, is to uh, obey his commandments, to stay away from his prohibitions. Peace be upon him, because he never asked us to do something uh, that is good, except that it is indeed for our benefit. And he never said stop away or, or stop short of doing anything wrong except that it is good for us. So following the Prophet, peace be upon him, is the way of salvation, peace be upon him, and take his advices as a way of life, as something to hold on and to keep to during all your life, especially the prayer, the tawheed, uh, caring for those under your authority and caring for women because women do have a great status in our religion as we know and they are our mothers our sisters our daughters they share with us the life and we should be kind to them all women not only just uh, uh, our wives but rather all women who are around us and who help us in this life so be kind to everyone, to all humans, but in particular to these people, as he made the advice, peace be upon him. These are part of the uh, advices he gave us, so um, peace be upon him, in order to have a good life here and a great reward in the hereafter. 
I come to the end of this episode from the series Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until I see you in the coming episode I leave you with Allah's care and protection Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليماً